everybody, it's Net from the Art of Intuition. Today we're going to talk about rules. What are the rules of ascending your consciousness? What are the rules of ascension? Which is the word you will normally see attached with ascending your consciousness. I usually don't use that word very much because it's kind of overplayed a little bit, but I'm going to use it today. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to, we're going to once again allow that word, even though the word itself it's usually not so much the word itself, it's just that as more people use it, it kind of gets diluted because a lot of people who use it, use it in a different frequency and it's not really the whole story of Ascension because people think awakening and Ascension is kind of the same thing and they're two different parts of the process. So, which ducktails into the video of there are no rules. You're going to find when your body is ascending, and that means you're taking your consciousness and you're anchoring it in your body. For every time you reach a different level of consciousness, you have to clear out everything in your body that's not that consciousness, which can take years, depending on how fast you want to go. Uh, even if you're going at it hardcore, it can still take seven to 10 years to really go through the whole ascension process. And that's, so if this is not overnight. Anyone who tells you it's overnight, it's not overnight. It takes a while. So just be, keep that in mind. A lot of people get tired. I know I, I do. And it's like, oh, am I doing it wrong? What am I missing? I'll say that so much. What am I doing wrong? What am I missing when I get really frustrated with it? So don't get frustrated with it. Know that it's a long time. Now, because you're in a long time, as time would be, it's more of the vibration. I don't really like the word time because it really isn't linear time. But when you're still in a linear body until you fully get to a certain parts of your ascension, you still have linear time, even though for me, it's just more vibrational. Linear time, things are gonna shift and change as you go through this space, right? Like there's gonna be a part of the process, depending on what aspects you're working with and what your body's trying to do. Because the whole part of ascending your consciousness and ascension is to bring your body through. So your body's going through a lot of stuff. So there might be times when you just wanna eat sugar. <laughs> And a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't eat sugar. If your body wants sugar, eat sugar. If your body, now I will say meat normally goes for everyone at some point in the process. You know, it's good. You're going to dip in and out of it. Um, but usually when meat goes, it pretty much doesn't come back. People say, oh, I don't eat meat. And then all of a sudden they might eat it once. Sometimes you have to go back and experience something again to see why you couldn't do it in the first place because you'll feel all the feelings and all that. Like with me, people get a lot of agitation when they ingest it, if they haven't had it, and their body's at a certain frequency that you feel the agitation. I know I don't eat meat, and I ate something a couple years ago at a party I went to that had been some vegetable that had been cooked with meat, which I didn't realize it when I ate it. And I was so agitated. It was up like the whole night. I couldn't sleep. I was so agitated and anxious. So you kind of, sometimes you'll be drawn to do things to show you why, what it was doing to your body. But when you're so immersed in it, you couldn't see what it was doing. So sometimes you have to go back to stuff. That's why you kind of never say never. There are no rules. Sex is something that comes in and out for a lot of people during Ascension. So you can never say never. <laughs> Food is going to be probably one of the biggest ones you're going to swing through because different energies in the body, different aspects you're trying to embody, you're going to require your body to want certain stuff. You might want to do all clean stuff. We talked about the sugar. You might want to do a lot of chocolate. I've been in a huge chocolate phase for like 18 months and a lot of comfort foods. You might want macaroni and cheese, pizza. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of comfort foods. So your whole weight kind of goes out the window too. You get bigger, you get smaller. And you really can't get too judgy about it, even though it is kind of agitating for your human when, you know, you go through your closet and most of it doesn't fit. But then I know I shifted it like about three weeks ago where I was in more of a cleaner phase where my body didn't really want the chocolate or the sugar. Some people you might say, oh, I never want to see that person again. And then you hear from the person and you're like, okay, I'm supposed to reach out to this person. I know this is what I'm supposed to do right now. So there are no set rules. You might wake up one day and say, oh, I'm gonna do a stream today. And then you wake up and you're like, oh, I can't do that today. That's why it's really hard to set a linear schedule. Like I used to have a rule 
and I knew I shouldn't have said it, but I kind of fell into this that I would do video filming and streaming, same day I did streaming, right? Because I had my makeup on, my hair done, we'll just knock it all out in one day. But after a while, I realized it's kind of two different aspects. My video filming aspect is kind of different from my streaming aspect. Plus streaming, you have to be processing a lot quicker because it's live. So you have to move a little, your energy body, you're moving a little bit quicker. And if I don't have the energy to stream, I can still do a video. It's a totally different aspect. It's a different, for me, it's a little easier than it is to stream. So don't get too set on a schedule. You have to do this this day. You have to do this that day. And I will still notice there are some things I'm still kind of linear on where I kind of plan Monday, Tuesday, I do this. Wednesday, Thursday, I do this. But it is going to shift and change. So even though it can be tough, I know I work through that a lot on shifting and changing where you're supposed to be. I'll swear, oh, I'm never going back to this place again. And then I feel like I'm supposed to go back there. And I'm like, damn, I said I'd never go back. Well, on that frequency, I wasn't supposed to go back. Now I'm in a different frequency. Now I'm supposed to go back. Same thing with people who come in and out. <laughs> you have to kind of gauge really how you feel about it. Am I supposed to do this? Because if you really feel like it's something you're supposed to do, then honor that. Because if you don't, you're now delaying something. You're now a delay kind of across the timeline. You are a procrastinating the word I'm trying to get out. You're procrastinating it. Don't be the procrastinator. If you really feel like it's something you're supposed to do, just sit down and do it. Because <laughs> if you're supposed to do it and it's aligned for you to do it in that moment and kind of vibrational reality is sort of in that moment, when you're in that moment and you know, okay, I'm supposed to do this right now, if you do it, it'll be so much easier <laughs> than waiting for all the shit to collapse and you didn't get it done and now you're rushing to get it all done. So, just pay attention to what you really feel pressed to do. And you can't kind of get it off your mind because it'll really start to drain your energy. There are some things, and it'll be minor things for me, like, oh, I really got to get this in the mail. <laughs> and it'll weigh on me and weigh on me until I go to put, to put the thing in the mail. It's like all I think about. I'm not supposed to take a certain, you know, blanket to donate it to a pet, you know, some a pet drive or something. It can be not even be anything that someone else would look at, but it's not that important. To me, in that moment, it's the most important thing I have to do. Like, I've got to go do this. I've got to get this done today and close this out. It's on my mind. I can't get away from it. It's constant. If you ignore the things that are pressing on you, and I call it pressing because to me, that's what it feels like. It's like it's pressing on me. Then you're going to make it a lot harder down the road. And you're also just delaying all the realities you want to come in. These are things you have to knock out. These are things you're supposed to do. That's why they're on your mind. It can be a small thing to, I mean, I'm going to use something pretty, like to, pretty, you know, small, I guess a lot of people would think. Like today I washed my hair and I was like, oh, I need to use this moisturizer because as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I got to do that today. Like it was really, in that moment, that was the only thing that mattered was that special moisturizer because my body and my hair needed that today. It can be bigger things, it can be smaller things, but if you start ignoring the things that are pressing, then you're kind of, you're slowing up the realities you want to anchor in because you're not, you're not really honoring what you're being told. If you have a certain rule, oh, I only do that on Wednesdays, I only do that on Tuesdays, I only see that person on Friday, <laughs> whatever it is. Like, I, I know I still have some I'm working through, I'm trying not to make them a rule, but... We always can, until we completely dissolve the linearity in our body, we kind of revert back to that. We want a set rule. I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to do this again. Oh, that's not really true. <laughs> You're probably never going to never do anything again. In some capacity. And anyone who says that just hasn't gotten to the part where they've had to revisit it. Because a lot of ascension is revisiting stuff to see how it is in this vibration. Can it work in this vibration? Is it still a no-go? So... All right, start breaking the rules. Start breaking your own rules, whatever they are, and keep practicing the art of intuition.